Hi, I'm Lisa Von Drasic, and I'm the curator of the Children's Literature Research Collections at the University of Minnesota, also known as The Curlin. And today at Read This Book is... I'm Carolyn Bischoff. Hi, Lisa. Hi. It's been a long time. It has. <laughs> um, I'm the librarian for physics, astronomy, and earth sciences, and I am also... Uh, one of the makerspace experts in the libraries. Oh, call no. me a makerspace librarian. I think you need to tell me what a makerspace is. I can tell you what a makerspace is. So there are two makerspaces in the libraries. One's in Walter Library in the Toaster Innovation Hub, and the other one's over in the Health Sciences Library. And these are spaces that are free to students, that are creative, um, just creative workspaces. The libraries does something really special, I think, in providing creative materials and tools to students for free including 3D printers, sewing machines, needles and thread, glue and scissors, anything All they would... All the stuff I don't have to go out and buy and I can experiment with and not worry about the cost. Right. And wow. we, yeah, and we have students coming in making cards and bracelets and birthday gifts and we have students coming in prototyping and printing out anatomy models. Wow. So the whole gamut of things. And it's delightful to see, especially when you see somebody coming in making a card, and then you know a couple months, a couple of years later, they're coming in and creating new things that we never saw before. Yes. Yep. Well, here's something that I'm very excited about. Mm -hmm. You didn't bring me any books today. Tell me why. I didn't. Um, it's because I don't read physical books nowadays. Mm -hmm. I do, I have, I have been reading more in the last year than I have for most of my adult life, but all of it is on my phone. You're reading, reading, or didn't you tell me you're listening to audiobooks? Okay, okay. And I want to say. That's the same thing. <laughs> and I want to say it is the same thing. It is. But, but audiobooks, do I need to sign up? I have to tell you, in the last year, I signed up on audible.com, and they kept giving me credits, and I just never had the books that I wanted, or I never actually finished them. Tell me, do I need to be on audible.com and pay money? Here, no, you don't. And I am in the same situation as you, especially, so I, I love my bookstores. I love going to bookstores. My problem is I will buy a book and I don't finish it. Mm -hmm. And then I sit there and I thought, I spent $20 on mm -hmm. this book and I didn't finish it. Um, have you heard of your local library? So my <laughs> local public library has an app yes. that I can download. Yes. Now, that's going to be complicated for you to show me how to do that. So I will trust and believe in you. But right now I want to know, what, have, what are you excited about on audio? Um, so I, I do use a, um, an app through, so I'm in Hennepin County. My mm -hmm. local library is the Northeast Public Library in Minneapolis. And when I, um, I, I saw a list of sci-fi books that somebody recommended. And mm -hmm. I don't know what got into me, but I thought, you know what? Let me just see if the library has it. And they did. The book was Gideon the Ninth. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I actually wasn't going to talk about that book today. But Gideon the Ninth yeah. was sort of my gateway into audiobooks from the library. Mm -hmm. And um, I just went through my local library. I have a library card, so I could sign in and all of that stuff. And when I went to download the audiobook, then it kind of put me into this, like, first do this, and then do this, and mm -hmm. then do this. And all of a sudden, I ended up with an app called Libby on my phone, mm -hmm. and the audiobook had been downloaded to that app. And what are you doing when you're listening to audiobooks? Are you, are you, are you just sitting quietly in your peacefulness listening to an audiobook, or is there something else going on? I am in perpetual motion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I listen to audiobooks when I'm driving. I listen to it when I'm walking into work, when I'm uh, you know, pushing the stroller around the neighborhood with the kids. I am listening to audiobooks when I'm gardening, when I'm doing the dishes. Any time that you would listen to a podcast or you know, have music on in the background, I don't like listening to music. I listen to my audiobooks. I want to know what book you came to talk about today. All right. So I came to talk about actually two audiobooks uh -huh. and one um, ebook that I also got through the Libby app through uh -huh. through my local library. Uh, the first one is called The Goblin Emperor. I know that one. So uh, by Catherine Addison, and the narrator for that book is I believe his name is Kyle McCarley. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I have a confession to make. When I talk about books, names 
go straight mm -hmm. out of my head. The characters' names go straight out of my head, but what I can tell you about is the vibes of the book. Yeah. <laughs> um, first of all, the narrator just opened up the book for me in a way that I don't think was possible if I had read it because the mm -hmm. names are so intricate and the titles are so intricate. This book is about a half goblin son of the king who was basically exiled from a court and pushed away because he's a half goblin. And when his father and brothers are in an attack that kills them all, he is suddenly the emperor. He has no training in court politics, no training in court mm. intrigue, no advisors, very game no of allies. <laughs> it is very Game of Thrones. But here's what I loved about it. Mm -hmm. the, <laughs> the main character is just, he's just a sweet, a sweet guy who doesn't deserve any of this. Mm -hmm. And he's just trying to do his best. And there were times in the book, especially toward the end, when I was just grinning from ear to ear listening to oh. it, thinking, oh, way to go, way to go, Maya. <laughs> it just oh. it made me so happy. And it, it, it's the sort of, I don't, I don't love the sort of grand, you know, going to war mm -hmm. sort of fantasy books. This was just a guy in an impossible situation trying to make the best of it. And um, the narration was top notch. It was so much fun to listen to. Okay, so you have one more. Could you just give us the title and maybe a sentence or two? Yeah. Um, so the, the other book that I wanted to talk about is actually a series of four, mm -hmm. um, but I'll talk about the first one, and it's called All Systems Read by Martha Wells. Mm -hmm. um, it's part of the Murderbot series, mm -hmm. and uh, it's narrated, the audiobook is narrated by Kevin R. Free, mm -hmm. and the, the story, it's about a, a sentient mm -hmm. security robot who just likes watching space dramas. And uh, he's not supposed to be able to do any of that, but he has hacked what's his, it's called his governor module, which is sort of the discipline module mm -hmm. in his head. And, um, and he's just the most wry narrator you could ever ask for. He's hilarious. Oh. I, I just love it, and the the it's a it's a mystery basically. So it's a space mystery with robots who just want he just wants to watch his shows, which I can relate to. <laughs> I can't. I don't know that one, and I'm going to look for that because that sounds just up my alley. It's really really good. Thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. On read this book. <laughs>